This is my 1998 BMW 540. Uh, it's been in other videos, and right now the problem I'm having with it is when you're driving and in accelerating in high RPMs, the battery light flickers on the dash, which is telling me that there's something wrong with the voltage. So we're gonna take the alternator out, and I'm pretty sure that we can fix it instead of replacing it. So I have a new voltage regulator, and we're gonna change that in the alternator, and hopefully that'll fix the problem. This one too. Yeah, that's all I had to do there. Yeah, it's not exactly great. As long as you can see something of it. All right. One thing you want to check before you put in the voltage regulator on your alternator is to see if there's any play in the bearings. Because if there is, then you definitely just need a new alternator. You could change the bearings, but it's not really worth it. You can just buy a new one at that point. So this alternator lasted 195,000 miles, which is pretty good for an alternator. But you could replace it, but the Bosch replacement is like 280 bucks, and you can get cheaper ones for like 150 bucks. but they're probably not going to last that long. So we're going to try to fix this one, also because the part I got was only $30. I thought it was going to be a Bosch part, and that's how they advertise it, but it's not. It's uh, Transpo, so hopefully it works. I don't want to be like dealing with trying to find another one. So what happens is that over time is these wear down inside the alternator after 200,000 miles or so. So hopefully that's the issue. I'm 90% sure it is. So we're going to take it apart and find out. ducting work to go in here and cool us down, but obviously it sticks a bunch of leaves in there too. That's not good. 
All right, well, this is the part we're taking off right here. As you can see, this is a replacement for it. It looks like it's by, piled on by two Phillips heads. Issue. All right, so here's the old voltage regulator and the new voltage regulator. And obviously what the biggest problem is with the old one after a very long time, 20 years in this case, is these wear down. And this one's even tapered to the side. So it's probably making hardly any contact with the center of the alternator. And that's hopefully this new one will fix it. Also, there's contacts that contact this part and this part, and they're pretty dirty. So I'm hoping that between those two things, this new voltage regulator will make the difference. All right, using some electric cleaner, we're gonna clean these contacts that, that uh, contact the voltage regulator, so I'm just gonna spray them a little bit. If you want, you can use a wire brush, but you gotta use a soft one, because if you use a really coarse one, it'll just scratch the hell out of them, and then it won't make as good a contact. This one's a really soft brush. There you go, good as new. All right, now we're gonna install the new one. So it goes in just like the old one. Just push it up against there. Hold it in place with one finger. Get the screws in there. Just put them in finger tight, thread first. I'm sure there's some kind of torque spec for these, but decently tight is good enough. Especially because this older new is not going to last forever. It's just a $30 fix instead of a $280 replacement. Again, I'm sure there's a torque spec or something on these, but I'm not worried about it. All right, now our alternator's got a new voltage regulator in it. So we can go back in the car and hopefully it'll last uh, maybe a year or two or so and save me a little bit of money.